Welcome everyone to the Season 6, Episode 8 of Takedown. We have a jam-packed night here for you in the great city of London, England, as we prepare for the Go Home Show. We will have a full house. Here we go. Hardcore Championship on the line, ladies and gentlemen. Daniel Roberts able to win that six-man battle bash last week on takedown, and here we go. Introducing the challenger from London, England, weighing in at 220 pounds, Daniel. There it is, the hometown boy. They love him here in London. See if he can walk away with the and hardcore the championship champion tonight. From the city of angels, weighing in at 266 pounds, he is the the monster, Marcus. That's right, the mysterious monster sending shockwaves through the 3-dub universe. Coming in here quickly, winning that hardcore championship. And that is what is on the line here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Can Sir Daniel Roberts put away the mysterious monster here? Here we go. Boom! Oh, oh man! What a boot! Right off the jump is the mysterious monster, and man, oh man. Daniel Roberts gonna have a handful here tonight. Referee Mike Zeeb still, still in here. So Teddy Rodriguez was fired, and here we go. One count kick out. Roberts not, not ready to be put away yet. Oh, 
I'm gonna tell you right now, the carnage that the mysterious monster Marcus Bishop brings to the table, they're just, there's just not much you can say about it. There's not very many superstars that are like this superstar here. Look at that. The action spilling outside. Of course, these hardcore matchups, false count anywhere. But you got to watch all the superstars backstage. Anybody who may be interested in the hardcore championship has that opportunity via chaos rules to come out here at any given time and try to win the title themselves through chaos rules. And of course that means throughout any given time during three dub production hours, okay? It's not a 24 seven rule thing. It's not every, every day of the week. It's only during three dub production hours. Anybody interested? We try to get that opportunity, and man, what a maneuver up here on the stage. I'm going to tell you, over the years, superstars have been a lot smarter with this chaos stipulation. Look at this, making sure nobody's coming out here. Oh, man, once again, another suplex onto the ramp up there. Man, and just turning, turning Daniel Roberts inside out. As I said, Superstar has been a lot smarter with the chaos stipulation. You almost be a fool to just come out randomly and just try to take it out of nowhere. Of course, you would think that it would be the right thing to do, but as soon as you do that, you immediately put a target on your back. There's a quick kick out for Roberts. Still staying alive in this one, continuing to fight against the mysterious monster here. roundhouse kick this matchup has been all Marcus Bishop and look at this just unaffected unaffected at all is the monster and look out into that telephone booth that old school London style telephone booth here at on the side of the stage here part of the props getting used here another Blackout roundhouse kick, and here's a pin. Two, and another kick out from Roberts. Man, fighting to stay alive, wanting to do everything he can to walk away here in his hometown with that hardcore championship. But man, look out. Roberts, two, and another. Another saved pin there. Roberts, I don't even, I think this is pure instinct. I don't even know if Roberts knows where he's at. You're not in the squared circle anymore. Look out onto that steel grate out there. That rampway that connects the stage and the, the lower area of the arena. And look at this, look at this. Not on that steel grate. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's got to do it, ladies and gentlemen. Two and three. There it is. Marcus Bishop, the mysterious monster, retaining the hardcore champion and the hometown hero. Here is your winner. Unable to get the job done. What is it going to take to get that championship out of the hands of the mysterious monster? I'm not sure anyone is going to be able to take that title away from him. <laughs> Wish we could turn back time.